Good morning, class. Welcome to another lesson in RE2. And today, we will discuss Christian Ethics. That is Module 3. At the end of the module, the students will have explained the meaning, significance, and biblical basis of Christian Ethics. Compared Christian Ethics in relationship to the two Testaments. Summarize the criteria standards and methods of Christian ethics apply the most important Christian principles in their lives. Let's proceed to the definition and significance of Christian ethics. That is module 3.1. What is Christian ethics? Christian ethics is a method of determining right and wrong based on the understanding and interpretation of the Christian message. The life and teachings of Jesus Christ is the heart of the Christian message. Right and wrong in this aspect is determined by the life and teachings of Christ. To understand what we should do or avoid in life, as well as to know what we should believe, we must consult the life and teachings of Christ. Secondly, Christian ethics is a set of principles derived from the Christian faith by which we act. The Bible gives us a detailed instruction on how we should live. While God's word may not cover every situation in our lives, its principles give us the standards by which we must conduct ourselves. For example, the Bible does not explicitly say about the use of illegal drugs. Yet, based on the principles we learn in the Bible, we can know that it is wrong. For one, the Bible tells us that the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and that we should honor God with it in 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20. So, by using the principles in the scripture, Christians can already determine what is proper for them to do in a given situation. Thirdly, Christian ethics is a systematic study of the way of life exemplified and taught by Jesus, applied to the problems and decisions of human existence. The way of life is expressed in what we say, believe, and practice. It is also synonymous with our lifestyle or day-to-day -day living. The Gospels reflect Jesus' way of life. It tells not only what he does and says, but also what early Christians believe of him. The way of life exemplified by Jesus is an adequate, dependable, and indispensable guide of Christians in their actions as well as in their decisions in life. Let's proceed to the significance of Christian ethics. Why is Christian ethics important? following are the significance of Christian ethics. Firstly, Christian ethics guides Christians in making right decision. Normally, people make moral and ethical decisions in their life. They need light to guide them in problems and decisions. According to Gillis, there are three elements involved in making right decisions. These are one sense of values, one's belief in the dignity and worth of persons, and one's responsibility towards neighbor. In circumstances in which we cannot determine what is right and wrong, we need to consult Christian ethics. Secondly, Christian ethics helps us differentiate between what is vital and peripheral in life. Vital means or signifies essential element in life. That means they are the important ones. Whereas peripheral signifies minor significance. That pertains to the irrelevant things in our lives. It expresses also priorities in life, what seems to be important and not so important. For example, health care and family concerns are vital in life 
Moreover, there are also issues like ecological bearings, human rights, and global warming that are also equally important. These issues affect even community life. Christian ethics in this aspect helps people decide or weigh which concern should be attended first and which one should be taken later. That means we should know our priority. Thirdly, Christian ethics assists people in determining their goals in life and help them realize these goals. Normally, people make goals for their life. They work hard in order to realize these goals. Christian ethics does not agree that the end justifies the means. The efforts toward realizing the end should be coupled with the efforts toward developing good principle, right attitude, and acceptable way of life. That means we need to set our goals. That's all for today, and I do hope that we will be able to prioritize the most important things in life, and of course, seek God first in everything. In Matthew 6.33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. This has been Sir JV, and see you the next lesson in RE2. To God be the glory.